Now when you're having a go at SUP for the first time, having a few good tips as well as the right equipment can really make the difference between getting up and staying up or not getting up at all. So first off, make sure you're on a nice wide stable board for your first attempt at paddleboarding. Now for most people, a 32 inches wide board would be ideal. Or maybe go for a board a little bit wider in width if you're larger or for less confident individuals. Then you need to find a nice flat calm location for your first try. Now remember, just because somewhere looked perfect yesterday doesn't mean it's going to be perfect day after day. So make sure, check your area, check your local maps and weather forecast to see where it's going to be perfect and flat for the day you want to try your paddleboarding. So when you start, adjust your paddle to the correct height before you get a float. For beginners, this is approximately 6 inches above your head. If your paddle is too short or too long, if you do get to your feet and start paddling, then you might feel a little bit more unstable because of the paddle height. Now when you're paddleboarding you do use your toes a great deal to help you balance when standing so going barefoot on a paddleboard is always a good idea when starting off. Also you might find you get cramped more in your feet if you're wearing shoes, wetsuit boots or flip flops. Now a paddleboard is most stable when it's moving, much like a bike. So before you attempt standing and getting to your feet, paddle forwards on your knees first. If there's a slight breeze, having the wind coming from behind you will help you keep the board moving forward whilst you're getting to your feet. Now remember, once you get to your feet, the chances are you're not going to be wanting to move them. So it's important to get your feet in the correct position before you stand up. Now on most boards, the most stable part is around the handle. So ideally you want your feet parallel either side of the handle, hip width or wider apart. The wider your feet are, the more stable you'll feel when standing. Once you move from your knees to your feet and placing your feet where your knees were originally on the board, then stand up slowly and smoothly. If you stand up too fast, the board may shoot out from underneath you. Stand up too slow and you may start to feel a bit more unstable. Then as soon as you can, get your paddle back into the water and paddle again to maintain that forward momentum. And this will also give you way more stability when your paddle is in the water. Now when standing, it's important to keep your knees very slightly bent to absorb any wobbles your board may have. Then keep your head up looking forwards, it's very tempting to look down at your paddle or your feet in the water, but if you do this you're way more likely to force yourself back downwards or into the water with a big splash. Now paddling with big confident strokes with your whole paddle blade in the water will keep your board moving at speed and you will feel way more stable, so don't be shy, get that paddle in the water and get paddling. Now it's important to stand up on your own time when you're feeling confident to do so. Now there's always going to be somebody that's going to do it fastest or want to be first, but if that's not you, it's well worth taking your time to get the hang of the basic strokes and turning around your board on your knees first. Just don't kneel too long, otherwise you're likely to get pins and needles in your feet and legs and you may ruin your chances of ever standing up. Now finally, I know it's easier said than done, but just try and relax. If that means wearing a wetsuit or going for a swim beforehand so you haven't got to worry about getting wet when you fall off the board, then do so. The more relaxed you are and the less afraid you are falling in, the easier you'll find getting up and staying up. Now remember, always wear a leash and also if you want to wear a buoyancy aid or life preserver, please do so. But it's also worth remembering that if you do fall in with a buoyancy aid, you might then find it harder to climb back on the board. This all goes back to feeling relaxed. So with these top tips, we can guarantee you're gonna be up in no time at all. So make sure to check out the next two parts, which are paddling straight and basics to step back turns. Mm -hmm.